Good morning. This is Jonathan Satofsky on this special 4th of July week edition of Seeking Wisdom, Wealth, and Wellness. And today is a special tribute to my Michigan mentor, Greg Harden, who's retired after 34 years as the secret weapon for the University of Michigan athletic program, impacting thousands of student athletes and beyond. And the concept that goes very well with the 4th of July is in our seeking freedom and independence as a country is no different than our personal pursuit of freedom and independence. And Greg's message at the core is to control the controllables. So now relating it to finance, a little extended version, You know, planning and process is much more important than performance. Performance will come as a byproduct of a good planning, good preparation, good practice, and a good process. But you gotta keep practicing. And in finance, there's a, often a debate that I think is misplaced about active and passive management. And that, to me, creates a tremendous amount of stress. Why does someone wanna be stressed about looking at who's the fastest car this week, this month? You're never gonna be satisfied. You'll never be satisfied. So if you develop a planning process that has a persistent, profitable path for a lifetime or multiple generations of lifetimes, you can live with greater calm. And why is that important? Well, neurologically, it's been clear that people with high stress and very anxious, all of that leads irrational thinking and irrational decision making. So creating a profitable path, a persistently profitable path, and a process is like autonomous driving. If you want to go 60 miles an hour or have 60% equity exposure, the markets go up, the markets go down, you can unemotionally rebalance or recalibrate back to your speed limit without the stress and anxiety of having to think you have to outsmart everyone every day, every week, every month, every year. And it's a lot healthier way to live. Certainly is. For me, certainly if you're going 60, there's gonna be people that are gonna fly by you, but maybe they'll get in an accident. Maybe they'll crash their car. Maybe they'll get a speeding ticket. Maybe they'll get there faster. Maybe not. So it's not a debate about active or passive. I mean, the first quarter of 2020, the markets dropped 20 to 30%. Had a fastest decline ever. You know, 16 to 19 days had a massive decline. And then we've had um, this second quarter of 2020, a 20% rebound. The fastest rise since 1957. And many people who were in utter um, turning on the news or the media or listening to the quacks of the voices around made a lot of irrational decisions during the first six months and missed out. And why do you want to miss out on a lifetime of abundance? The world is amazing and the potential is limitless. So in your desire to seek your own celebration for the 4th of July, remember that freedom and independence is a mindset. So develop some micro habits in controlling the controllables so you too can seek your own wisdom, wealth, and wellness. Have a great day and a great holiday.